We're closing in on the opening day of the Orlando Eye, the 400-foot Ferris wheel here on International Drive. Theme park reporter Dwayne Bevel and tourism reporter Caitlin Deneen got a sneak peek and I joined them. Yeah, the Eye is an absolutely amazing experience. You get 360 views of all of Orlando. You can see downtown Orlando. Uh, on a clear day, you can see the Space Coast. Um, all the great attractions that make up Orlando. And you know, the best thing is that you get to see the natural beauty, the serenity uh, that is Orlando, all the beautiful lakes, the landscape. And you know, for all of our tourists that are coming into town, uh, that's unique, that's different. And then for locals, it's, it's really seeing Orlando from a different view. So here in the Orlando Eye, we're just seeing a little bit of everything. A lot of Central Florida's green, greener than I even knew here as a resident. Um, lots of water features, a ton of lakes, convention center. I'm basically seeing everything I cover as a reporter, but from a bird's eye view. I'm a little surprised by a couple of things. Uh, I thought it was gonna look more industrial. You know, it, it just, turns out Orlando is pretty colorful. And even if it's just hotels, bouncing off the green and the blue of the lakes and stuff. Yeah, it, it looks better than it did in my head. So we're almost at the top of the Orlando Eye, and you can actually see most of Central Florida from here. I'm looking at the Convention Center to my right. I can see downtown Orlando to my left. Behind me is Epcot and Disney World, and over here is Universal. It's a really cool sight up here. You know, you, you're, not, you're used to driving around the streets of Orlando, but to be up there and see it from 400 feet, looks completely different, but it's just, it's, it's very exciting being a resident, being able to go on it. The other thing I like, I like looking for the theme parks in the distance, like, oh, that's Spaceship Earth, that's Space Mountain, that's Hogsmeade, that's Kraken. Uh, it's pretty impressive. I can certainly see as a tourist, as a visitor wanting to come here and just taking in Central Florida as from a different height. Um, overall, I think it's going to be a pretty neat ride for first time riders. If you want to be one of the first to ride the Orlando Eye, there's a first flight on May 1st and it opens to the public on May 4th. For OrlandoSentinel.com, I'm John Busdecker. Orlando Sentinel newspaper, check it out, yeah, do us the favor, promise that you will love it later, I promise we got Central Florida flavor, yeah.